I think it's important that cybersecurity professionals understand the cyber attack kill chain model and methodology. And the reason why is it just helps you become a better professional, helps you to better protect your environment and respond to attacks. Hi, I'm Matt Sosman, a senior security architect at Microsoft, and I want to talk to you about the kill chain and how it aligns with Microsoft security products. Well, first, let's understand what is the cyber attack kill chain. Uh, it was started by Lockheed Martin back in 2011, and it really helps you to understand the structure of a cyber attack. And what I like about it is it can be used to prevent and respond to an attack by identifying the different stages that occur in, that, in an attack. And what you can do from there is then identify technical solutions to then put breaks in that chain and provide really a layered defense. Now, it's important to call out that security vendors and security organizations will often have their own interpretation of the cyber attack kill chain. Uh, in my opinion, there's really no wrong answer and there's really no incorrect or inaccurate cyber attack kill chain because everybody typically follows a common set of stages. What's important though is I want you to go out and just pick a model, understand it, and then start to apply it to your work. Now, if we take a look at Lockheed Martin's example of, of their cyber attack kill chain, uh, it starts with reconnaissance of the environment and then weaponization, delivery of that weapon, exploiting vulnerabilities, installing, gaining command and control, and then taking actions on an objective. Uh, at a high level, that's, that's really their interpretation of it. Let's take a look at another example, this time with a, a phishing email. Uh, here's how a phishing email follows the cyber attack kill chain. This is where we have a social engineering uh, campaign using spear phishing, where the user clicks on a link in an email. It then downloads a file from a compromised website that then runs suspicious uh, and, and malicious code on that machine, uh, gaining command and control and allowing them to uh, do exploitation, domain dominance, and then eventually uh, carry out their objective. Here's another example of APT29 where this is it's showing how this specific uh, threat is following a cyber attack kill chain from uh, gaining initial breach to gaining persistence, lateral movement throughout the environment, uh, you know, credential access, so on and so forth. And then from there going out and uh, carrying on with its objective. Now, when you think about Microsoft security products and where those align to the cyber attack kill chain, here's Microsoft's interpretation. Let me walk you through it a little bit. Uh, this is how a threat gets into the environment, either through phishing email or browsing to a compromised website. And then it's going to run code on that machine that then exploits a vulnerability on that machine and installs itself, gaining command and control and gaining persistence. And then from there, going out and compromising the user's account uh, or finding another account in the environment that's maybe privileged and compromising that account, thus gaining domain dominance to then carry out the mission of exfiltrating data. Now, this shows you in blue text where each of the Microsoft security products can help provide a layer, to, layer of protection and response. Now, this is not all Microsoft security products. There's about 120 of them. And so uh, this just shows a few, but I think you get the idea. And what's important is that you just understand the cyber attack kill chain, what's happening, and then how do you put those breaks in those different links of the chain to add yourself layer defense. So for example, what are the solutions you could put in place to protect against phishing email, the number one threat vector? What are solutions you could put in place to, uh, to mitigate vulnerabilities in the operating system on your clients or applications, and then prevent suspicious code from running and, and installing itself? What are identity solutions you could put in place to find suspicious behavior and stop those attackers in their tracks from gaining domain dominance? And then what are solutions you could put in place to stop and prevent data from being exfiltrated out of the environment. All right, so this is a very short video, but go out there, find a cyber attack kill chain model that works for you, understand it, study it, and start to apply it in your everyday work. All right, folks, have a great day. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.